Okay. Hi, I'm Jono, and if you're new here, I do pencil drawings. I have just moved into my new studio. The space is so massive and it's so beautiful. I've been struggling to feel like I deserve to be in a space like this. And so in this video, I want to talk about something that I struggle with from time to time. In this video, I want to talk about imposter syndrome. Also, a huge thank you to Squarespace once again for sponsoring this video. For those of you that don't know, imposter syndrome is the feeling that the success that you have isn't warranted, that one day you'll be found out for being in a position that you're not meant to be in. In this video, I want to talk about my experience with imposter syndrome and how I've learned to deal with it. It's ironic that you spend the first stages of your career trying to convince other people to buy your art. And once they do, you start to try and convince yourself that your art is worth buying. Imposter syndrome manifested the most strongly for me during lockdown in 2020. I'd become a little bit disenchanted with my work and I was exposed to so much art that I felt was doing a much better job of representing what I wanted to create than what I was. And so I became hyper-focused on my shortfalls and on the things that I was lacking. All the support I was receiving began to feel unwarranted. People who experience imposter syndrome often express a feeling that they are somehow tricking everyone in some way. And I really felt that. Sometimes the anxiety can be overwhelming and it can be difficult to continue to create. Whatever form imposter syndrome takes, if it's not managed, it can be so destructive for your creative process. In the moments where imposter syndrome feel like it has the strongest hold on you, you have two options on how to deal with it. You can begin to shift course and opt out, or you can rise to the occasion. You can decide, I'm not up to this, or you can lean in and explore where that feeling is coming from and embrace it. Or you can even take it a step further and use it as a marker to better understand yourself and understand the version of yourself that you want to be. In my case, I began to study and expand. I wanted to break out of the creative rut I found myself in and learn some of the new techniques I've always admired in other people's work. It was humbling to be a beginner again, but it's also exciting and empowering. It's always a good reminder that it's easy to get comfortable with your craft, but there's always so much more that you can learn. Hearing about imposter syndrome from people that I admire has been really helpful in helping me move past it and use it in a more positive way. My hope is that sharing my experience of my struggle with it might help someone in the same way it helped me. In my experience, there's always the risk of it coming back. There's no guarantee that it'll stay away, no matter how supportive your networks are or how secure in yourself you feel. There's always the chance of that old friend coming to visit you again. When it does, don't push it away and try to ignore it. Give it the weight that it deserves. Give yourself time to process it and try and take steps to let it work for you in a positive way. Before I end this video, I just want to give a quick shout out to this video sponsor, Squarespace. I've been working with them for quite a long time now, and they've helped me out in a huge way, not only in sponsoring a lot of my videos and helping me sustain this channel, but more importantly, early on in my career, it was so important to create an easy, good looking portfolio to help clients find my work and to have a platform to make it easy for them to get in touch with me. And I felt that Squarespace did that effortlessly. I never had to patch or upgrade anything. I could register a domain with them and set up an online store. And most importantly, I could design design a portfolio and show my work the way that I wanted to. Also, every time I got stuck, their amazing support team helped me out instantly. So if you're looking at building a website, give Squarespace a try. And if you decide that you love them, use this offer code and get 10% off your first purchase. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I kind of hope that you can't relate to it because imposter syndrome is a really almost sinister thing that can really make you doubt yourself. And it's, it's not the greatest feeling in the world to, to have to try and fight your own logic and, and thoughts 
in trying to convince yourself that you should be doing what you're doing. Um, but if you have struggled with it, I hope that this video has been helpful for you in some way. I'd really love to hear your stories. So if you've had any struggles with imposter syndrome, leave those in the comments. I'd love to read them and just kind of share the way that we've all been dealing with them. If you found this helpful or interesting, leave a like. It helps the channel out in a huge way. As always, thanks for the support and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hi, I'm Jono, and if you're new here, I do pencil drawings. I... <laughs> the rain just hits, like, as I finish that line. That's so funny. I want to talk about pencil drawing. <laughs>